Hello and welcome to Dev Tips, you rascals. Ah, oh, that's not very good. Now last week we talked about CSS selectors, those little guys that select the different HTML nodes that we want to style. And next week we'll jump into more advanced methods of selecting different nodes, but today I want to talk about the CSS style declarations themselves. Now a style declaration is made up of two parts, a property and a value. The syntax works like this, the name of the property, the colon, the value, and a semicolon at the end. You can stack up these declarations to get more advanced, complicated styles. And when you're done, you wrap all those styles in a pair of curly brackets. Pop a selector from last week before that first curly bracket, and you got yourself a style. There are literally hundreds of CSS properties. I counted 369. So there's no way that I'm going to list them all here. And that wouldn't work anyway, because not only do you need to know what they are, you need to know what they do and how they work together. So I'm not going to do that. But what I will do is tell you how I learned them all pretty quickly and easily, all the while being able to make fully functional websites. The first thing you need to do is find the right tools. We need to find a code editor that has the proper training wheels built in. I like to use a code editor called Espresso. It happens to have these tools that you can pop out right here on the right. And with a few clicks using this graphical user interface, you can start writing real CSS today. Another thing that exists in our world is something called code completion. This can be a very big help, and most modern code editors have it. All you have to do is start typing, and then the code editor's like, hey, did you mean this? And then it starts suggesting things that you're looking for. Okay, these are two ways to learn what's possible with CSS when you're ready to get on that. And the only way to really familiarize yourself with these properties and values is to just use them and to use them a lot. Build a lot of things and read other people's code and see what they're building and how they're doing it. The only way you're gonna learn all this stuff is just to use it. I'm also including a link down below of all of the CSS properties available. So, chew on that. Alrighty, next week we're gonna jump back into advanced selectors I know you're excited about it. I can see it on your face right there. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for subscribing. Uh, I don't know if you noticed, but over this weekend, we hit 100 subscribers and over 2,000 video views. Not just over the weekend, but, you know, total. And it's such a cool thing for me, and I've never done this before, and I don't know what I'm doing, and it's so awesome to have you guys just watching it. Hope you like it. Let me know. Write me an email. Subscribe. Share it with your friends. Write a question in the comments. I love it so much. Thanks for everything, and I'll see you next week.